If your boat club could land five or 50 new members today, what would you do to make it happen? Hi, this is Scott Croft with Boat Owners Association of the United States, and that's a question I've been asking a lot lately. You see, a lot of Boat US members are also members of community boat and yacht clubs. But in my off hours, I'm also president of the Hudson River Boat and Yacht Club Association. It's a group of 31 clubs from Raritan Bay, New Jersey, all the way up to Poughkeepsie, New York. And growing club membership is our number one challenge. I'd like to share some tips with you today about how to grow club membership. Some I've learned on my own, some I've learned from a professional, and some I've learned from my own Hudson River Boat and Yacht Club friends. I know that the folks our clubs most rely on, those dedicated guys and gals that do 90% of the work, they can sometimes feel cheated when you start talking different membership programs with different pricing. I've had personal experiences at my own clubs bucking the headwinds of change and trying to look at different kinds of membership programs. I've learned from working in the boat industry that wives and moms have a great influence when debating a boat purchase. But here's the problem. Once the family joins a club, sometimes women are made to feel second class. Steve Graves of Creative Golf Marketing is one expert I've learned a lot from. Steve comes from the golf industry and the parallels to growing membership are striking. Steve told me in the old days, clubs never had to recruit members. Folks lined up like zombies to join but it was often an environment that didn't want women and kids. Today, it's much different. Offering something for the wife and kids is very important. People marry later today, have kids later in life, and often have two working incomes, making family time very precious. What at your club draws families? If you can't answer that question, you need to start looking at those kinds of things that can get other people in other than just dad. Steve offered an idea for recruiting new members called Playing With The Puppy. It's like a trial membership, but never call it that. Like a pet shop that encourages you to take a puppy home for the weekend, let folks try out your club for a season. When looking for new members, it's okay to offer a deal. Everyone expects one today. For example, perhaps give an incentive to pay off membership dues early. Small concession sell. For example, give $75 off membership dues to anybody who recruits a new member and offer that $75 discount to the new member as well. With membership plans, one size doesn't fit all today. Offer different pricing for younger members and older members. 40% of your members use 80% of the club. That means these 40%, you're not gonna run them off. But that other 60%, the majority, you don't wanna give them an opportunity to leave by sending them an annual renewal bill. So take their dues periodically, monthly, or quarterly. It doesn't give them a chance to say no and depart the club. Young people want to join clubs, but they want to be asked. Sharing a boat seems to be catching on. Does your club make it easy for two people to share a boat? Does your club offer a boat for all members to use? Does your club have a community sailing program or fishing club that gets parents and their kids inside the club? Get the local community into your club any way you can. Here on the Hudson River, clubs offer a wide variety of events to get the community inside art shows, speaking engagements, wine and cheese events, open houses. A lot happens at these clubs that brings the community in. They're offering new types of membership programs that appeal to younger members, such as those interested in paddle sports or jet skiing. I've asked our 31 clubs to get rid of the members only signs and ensure they have a welcoming message facing the street with information available on how to join. You need a good brochure to describe the quality of experience at your club you need to get on social media. I'm sure you can think about new ways to grow your club if you put your minds to it. And I've hoped I've shared some ideas and tips to help you do that. Also remember, being a part of Boat US can help your club members grow and get more out of the boating lifestyle. Be sure to check out the Boat US Cooperating Group Program, which allows boat clubs to offer Boat US membership at half price. This gives your members a world of discounts at marinas, fuel docks, bait and tackle shops, and many other boating-related businesses.